Come on. So all we've got to do is take ourselves a slice of that. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef Farm Rick. Today we are making a sausage plat. Basically, it's a posh way of saying a big sausage roll with crossed over pastry. It really is easy to make because we're using store-bought, ready-made puff pastry. Now, sausage plats are normally made like a sausage roll using pork. I'm using half beef, half pork. However, you can make the recipe just beef, just pork. But if you're using beef, don't forget it's leaner than pork and you will probably have to add some fat. Now, very easy to come together. That's our meat mixture in there. All I need to do is chop some onion, mince some garlic, chop some sage. I've got fresh sage today, uh, straight from the garden. Now, if you haven't got fresh sage, don't worry about it, use dried. And I'm going to fine dice an apple because apple and pork go really well. I've got some Worcester sauce, which is going in with that beef. So we're combining quite a lot of things. There's going to be a lot of flavor in here. It's going to be delicious. Let's get on and do it. Come on. So we've got a little bit of garlic and we are just going to rough mince. Now you can use garlic, leave it out. Up to you if you don't like it. I understand that. You know, but it adds quite a substantial amount of flavour to this dish. Onion. Fine dice your onion. Any which way that you fine dice, up to you. Okay, so this is straightforward enough. We've got that garlic and that onion straight in there. I've got this fresh sage from the garden, like I say, and we just want to be giving that a little mince over. Now, if you're using dried sage, just put that in. Don't worry about it. You know, sage is one of those herbs I have growing in the garden all the time because it goes in lots of sausages and pork dishes and meatloaf. It goes in fresh stuffing as well. You can't beat a fresh sage and onion stuffing. Oh, go as small as you like, that's up to you. I'm not really bothered about any more than that. I'm gonna put some apple in. Apple's going in with the pork. So just peel off your apple any which way you want. And as you can see, this is, <laughs> this is a real old apple. But this is perfect for this. You know, you can't waste anything. You've got to keep chucking it in. Obviously, we don't want the core. Well, we want that little bit of sweetness going in there. Now, you can grate the apple if you want. That's up to you. I don't... I'm not really bothered about grating it, to be quite honest. I like those little chunks of apple in there. So basically what we're doing is we're just actually just running a knife over and just get some little, little chunks. That's all we want. We want a little bit of apple in there. So we've got some nice little chunks of apple there, look. That's going in our bowl. We've got some breadcrumbs, that's in there. Now we want to put our spices in. Okay, I'm going to go in there with a bit of salt. Salt to taste, up to you, whatever you like, black pepper. Now you can do mustard in here if you want, that's up to you. I'm going in there with some dry thyme, smoked paprika. And nutmeg. A little bit of garlic powder. 
Right, we have quite a lot of stuff in there. Look, what I've got to do now is get our hands in and mix it up. Oh, do you know, I'm missing one of the most important <laughs> bits. I want that Worcester sauce in there. I'm going in with a, a good splash of Worcester sauce. Probably about a tablespoon. Somewhere around about there. We're going to get our hands in there and give it a squashing up. Nice and steady. Bring it all in, mix that pork with that beef and those onions. Bread crumbs. Oh, I can smell all that in here already. Wow. Oh, wow. That smells incredible. Just give it a couple of minutes, you know, nice and steady. We don't have to work too hard. But if we just give it 30 seconds, we're not going to bring it all together. So just get it all mixed in there. Little twist, a little mix. Bring it round, shuffle it up. It's like shuffling a deck of cards, really. Front to back, middle to out. Whatever you want, you know. Nice and steady. You know, if you're at home, get your oven on. You want your oven on about 190. Preheat your oven, 190. That's 380F. Now you could cook these onions and garlic if you wanted, saute them off in a pan with a little oil, olive oil, butter, whatever you want. And you could have put them in here pre-cooked. I'm not really all that bothered, you know, we like that taste, that little crunch of onion in here. They'll cook down sufficiently enough because they're small enough, but it's still going to have a little bit of texture. I'm using the high sapienza air fryer today. I'm going to preheat my oven to 180. Let it preheat. Now we want to take our pastry. I'll turn it that way around actually. Okay, I've got myself a tray and I put some baking parchment on it. You know, we're making a sausage meat here and with the puff pastry, it is going to leak out a little bit. As you can see, my puff pastry, it's got cracks in already. There's nothing we can do about that. That's just how it is. Right, we need to put our sausage mix in there. And we have got quite a lot of sausage mix here. So we might be putting some in the freezer. Okay, I'm not going to tell you any porkies, as he says. I will write the recipe for the half the mixture of this. Okay, we've got 500 grams here of pork, 500 grams of beef. I have about the same left in there after putting that in there. Now I'm not going to make two, I'm going to make one. That's going to go in the freezer for another day. So when we actually write the recipe, it's going to be 250 grams pork, 250 grams beef, or if you use one or the other, 500 grams. That is enough. And if you see what I've done here, I've already rolled it into a sausage shape and that will be going in the freezer like that and it will hold itself. Right, our plat. So we don't need this on here. Now what we have to do with a plat, you basically come out from there like that, like that. So you have a triangle. You'll see why in a minute. Okay, because what happens is that triangle gets pulled up there like that. Okay. Now you can do as big or as small as you like, that's up to you. And that is going up there. And then this, you just go like this, all the way along here, like this. Ow. 
And it doesn't matter how neat you are. Don't, don't stress over any of this. What you want is the same amount of lats. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is it. It's that simple. Okay. And then what you need to do is just bring over your lats like that. It doesn't matter how you get it over there. Who cares? It's that easy. You know, don't make any of this cooking complicated. And that's our lovely lattice pie made. There's nothing hard about that. And then that goes on our tray. So nice and gently, up we go. On our tray. Come on, that's as easy, isn't it? You know, there's nothing difficult about that at all. See, the good thing with when you cook anything with puff pastry like this, it's gonna puff up all around anyway. You know, and it, it doesn't matter how neat you want it to be. You know, you're only doing it at home. You're not five-star Michelin chefs. So it's going to puff up. It's gonna look fantastic. There is absolutely nothing to worry about. Then all we have to do is take some egg wash. Egg wash it up. Now this thing is just so easy, so quick to come together. Looks fantastic on the dinner table. Serve it with anything you want. Just serve it with beans, baked beans. Don't forget it's a giant sausage at the end of the day. And there we have it glazed up. Stick it in the oven. Going in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes in this oven. In your oven at home, 30, 35 minutes, just watch it. Don't forget, we have to cook that meat on the inside. Nice and steady. So I get that in there. So in we go. Press on, and we want to set the time for 25 minutes. Done. Let it do its thing, 25 minutes, we'll have a look. Okay, there we are. Let's have that out of there. Whoa, look, look at that thing. Whoa, look at that sausage plat made. Okay, we gotta do the usual, you know, we can't do anything with it at the moment, it's too hot. So I'll let it cool down and then we'll cut a slice. Superb. So are we ready for this? Let's get in here and cut a slice. Now this thing is still warm. In fact, it's very warm. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, steam, steam. That is red hot. All we've got to do is take ourselves a slice of that. <gasps> oh, look at that sausage plat made. How easy is that? You know, it comes together so quickly. 
we just mix up the meat with some seasoning, chuck it in some store-bought puff pastry, cook it off, perfect light meal. Fantastic. What does it taste like? Come on, let's give it a taste test. Okay, look at this. That is phenomenal. Now you enjoy it whichever way you want. You get some sauce. It goes well with sauce. We'll just have a little bit of sauce there. And we'll taste it without and taste it with. Well, let's just fold that down. Oh, lovely cooked bottom. Lovely seasoning there, look, all held together. That is wonderful. Oh. That is really, really tasty. Mmm. -hmm. Well. That is, that is really tasty. That is superb. That is sausage plat made. Now obviously you can change around whatever you want inside there. Add what flavourings you want, you know, don't get hung up on it. Change it all around. Um, add more seasoning, take seasoning away, put mustard in, more black pepper, anything like that. Change it up to what you like. That is incredible. So, you know, you can enjoy this with whatever you want, whether it by mashed potato, chips and beans, anything like that, you know, just put together, eat it cold. It's fantastic. It's like a big sausage roll at the end of the day. It's super. You know, if you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.